be educated, but I'm so frustrated. Hello to my loneliness. I guess that ignorance is bliss. Take me back to before the new. Rewind, take it out of cue. And this sense can be a young man's. NFL on EA Sports brings us to the banks of the Ohio River and Paycor Stadium in Cincinnati. Straight ahead, we've got a good one on tap here between the Chicago Bears and the Cincinnati Bengals. set to go Evan McPherson to do the honors and we are underway from Cincinnati on the return it's Tristan Edner from his end zone and that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. Field's going to throw right away. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. I think the defense surprised him there with that blitz on first down, but give him credit. Stayed cool under pressure and still found a way through the extra rushers for positive yardage. Well done. Four yards the pick up, first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down, keep the sticks moving. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. They'll fake the handoff, now Fields. Dancing to his left. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. The escapability in evidence there is that one good for 15 and a first. Partner, there's a downside to everything, and the danger of man coverage is if you're locking down your target, you often turn your back to the quarterback, and you don't see him. Sometimes you open up a big lane for him to hit you for big yardage, and that was an astute play by him to scramble out, see that lane, and burn that for a first down. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Fields now to throw. And he'll be taken down by the Bengal pressure. There for the sack, B.J. Hill. Well, we've seen how this quarterback can beat you with his legs. Saw it earlier on his drive, as a matter of fact. But that time, they had it covered. They really gave him no place to escape because oftentimes they're able to find a crack, a sliver, anything that can get them upfield. On that occasion, nothing open at all, and they swarmed him. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. Fields tapping it forward, jet sweep. Looking for a cutback lane, but nothing there as he's met at the line of scrimmage. Here's Fields. A quick throw knocked away and incomplete. That's a really nice job there by the coverage, understanding that they're in a high-stakes situation. If he doesn't make a play on that ball, there's an excellent chance it ends up either as a touchdown or as a nice game downfield. Throwing on third down, Fields. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Loss of 10 as multiple defenders get to it. Breaks up how teams are so competitively matched, and you just want to make those plays that give you an advantage. How about right here? The difference between letting them score a touchdown versus holding them to a field goal, that's absolutely huge for the play he just made. And you know he hated taking the loss there on third down. Well, they started the drive backed up pretty deep, but a nice effort to overcome the field position, get into field goal range on the game's opening possession. And Brandon, I think from where they started, the initial thought was, can we get one or two first downs and help out our defense after we pump the ball away with field position? But as that drive went on, 
I think their sights got set a little bit higher. They were thinking touchdown, end up settling in between and coming away with a field goal. They're going to get nine here on first down as he gets this one up to the 34-yard line. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. Blow, blow, blow. Back to Mixon on second down. Ready for the second quarter from Cincinnati. It's the Bengals with the football here. As they've got it with a first and ten. There's Burrow setting up to throw it. And that throw behind his man, he missed him, incomplete. That was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them. And I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. So into Bear territory now. This is first and 10 at the 39-yard line. Burrow going to give this to Mixon. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. Again, it's Mixon. And he's got some space here. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. Give him 17 at a Cincinnati first down. This has been a good drive so far. It's been a running game for the most part. This power here down go. there. Another nice burst there, picking up a first down. Now it's first and 10, as you said, in the red zone. Mixon with a first down carry. And he's brought down. 50 yards rushing for him on their opening drive of the contest, and it's now first and goal. Well, if they continue to run the football this strong, right up the middle, I don't know if they can wait till halftime to make adjustments. They better find a way to get it done series to series. I don't know if they need to sub some guys out, bring in extra people, maybe change what they're doing on the defensive side of the ball. But right now, they're running the ball very well, right at them and right up the middle. Burrow going to keep it on the sneak. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the keeper, and it's going to bring up a third down. 11 MT, 11 MT. Mixon. And Mixon not going to get there. Running into a wall here, and they'll stop him short. Tough sledding. They lose a yard there on third. Second quarter, two minutes remain. Three nothing, our score. is up and good to make it 7-3. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. Ebner going to elect to bring this out of the end zone here. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there.
The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. And they had a long drive last time, but they had to settle for a field goal, and I'm sure that's how it felt to them, settle They probably should have gotten in the end zone. Yeah, not right now, Troy, right? Because that's what you get when you put the ball in the end zone. But there are benefits to that type of a long drive. Your defense gets a chance to take a break, adjust a little bit, maybe get themselves ready to get back out on the field and play a little bit better. So they'll take the benefit even though they wanted the six points. And yeah, maybe wore down the other defense. We'll see. That'll wind up as a loss on the play, so now they're staring at a third down and 12. Back to throw, Fields. He'll get this underneath to Montgomery. And a good job defensively. They stop him short of the first at the 32. That'll bring up fourth down. They wind up getting eight yards, but they needed more than that. We can make this one pretty simple. Locked up all of his progressions downfield, forced to get it to his running back. But how about the way they ran to the football and knocked him down to force a fourth down? Now the Bengals going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. The fourth down, so they send out Trenton Gill. Back deep, Trent Taylor. A well-hit ball there. 50 yards on the punt, three on the return. And the Bengals take over, first and 10. Gun, gun. The gun. Bengals drive about to get going. And with a 7-3 lead, we'll see how aggressive they want to be. They will throw on first down with Burrow. In trouble here, and down he goes. Back at the eight-yard line. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts as it'll come with 36 ticks to go in half number one. Throwing on second and long. Burrow. And the pressure gets to him again. Now the Bears going to use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. So, Brandon, we sat in with a lot of coaches, and when they talk about things they want to accomplish offensively, I'm not sure that sack and sack are on their play sheet. Now it's Burrow. He's got his big tight end. That's Hurst. They do get 18, but even that won't be quite enough. It's fourth down. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. Burrow going for it on fourth. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Boyd. And he is going to have the Bengals first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. What a time for his first catch as they get the conversion on fourth. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. Normally, he's pretty reliable. He usually catches what's thrown to him. On that play, he simply dropped it. Here we go, here we go. Now, play number seven of the drive as they're looking at a third and ten. This time they stay on the ground, running right through him. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down, two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth, ready for quarter number three. The Bengals set to receive. They have the lead and the football to begin quarter number three. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. Here we go, here we go. The Cincy offense about ready to go here on their next drive. We, we go, have we not seen much on offense here from either side these last few drives. We've hit a wall, so to speak. And have hit it hard, haven't we? Because the defenses right now, they seem to be a step ahead, don't they? 
beating them to the point of attack, beating them to the punch. These offensive guys, they're tinkering like crazy. What's it going to take to get back on track? Yeah, both sides searching for adjustments. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. 10 yards there on a Bengal first. We don't talk about it very often, but sometimes there's a dip in intensity when you start the second half, which can manifest itself in some sloppy tackling. How about right there? He ran right through that weak tackle attempt. They run on first down as they're able to get this forward for about four. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. And a big loss here as he's taken down. So that'll leave Burrow and the Bengals with a third and long after that sack we just saw. to throw here. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. So good work there on the defensive side for the first drive of the second half. Yeah, and until their offense can get into rhythm, their defensive players and staff have got to say to themselves, we've got to make it work. We've got to stand in here and make sure nothing else happens until our guys start moving the ball. for a second like he might take it all the way but as it stands it's still a massive return and it'll be a short field for the Bears as they take over first and ten. First down here's the run to Montgomery and he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards but no more than that second down three yards on that last carry here's second and seven. Fields they'll roll him out right. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. In danger of squandering their great field position as they come up on a third and seven. They'll try the middle with Montgomery. And he will have the first before he's brought down right on the chalk of the 20. An effective seven-yard third down conversion. On first down, it's Fields. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Trey Hendrickson able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. And you get the feeling, Charles, yeah, he's got the two sacks now, but he may get more here. We still got a quarter and then some to go. And the way that he is playing this game, it reminds me of one of the best golfers in the world who can use every club in the bag and make a great shot. That's what he's doing with his pass rush moves right now. Showing a little bit of everything. They have no way of stopping him. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. To throw his fields. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. It'll go as a sack, a loss of three, and in turn, it takes us to a fourth down. The fields is off, and on comes Cairo Santos for the Chicago field goal. Santos' kick is up and through, and they'll get it back within a point at 7-6. to six. So the three points there, and CD, that helps them inch a bit closer. Yeah, partner, when you're losing, any points you see go on the board in your favor, you're happy to take them. The return man down to a knee, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. The Bengals drive about to get going. Now this game, it has obviously been all about the defense on both sides of the football. Which offense is going to break through here? We'll see if they can do it on this drive. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A good pick up there, 22. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. Inside handoff to Mixon. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another. Back now in Cincinnati. And we've got a dandy here. A one-point game as we begin the fourth. From midfield now, Burrow. 
And this will be well too low for him to bring in. It's incomplete. Well, he certainly didn't like what he saw all from the coverage on his primary reads. And he didn't even have any luck trying to get back to his safety valve. Give defense a credit. Coverage was in lockdown mode everywhere. On third down, Burrow. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Really good coverage all over the field. It took away his intended read and almost dared him to try for his guy out of the backfield. No surprise on that one. It doesn't connect. They'll try and throw forward with Burrow. He throws, and this is going to be incomplete. The Bengals try it, but it doesn't work out. And this defense will take over right at midfield. Fields and the Bears now with a first and 10. Right at the 50-yard line. He'll begin by dropping it off to Montgomery. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Well, at the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to help feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Cameron Sample in there to record another sack, and that is now six on the afternoon for this defensive unit. Well, collectively as a defense, Charles, I think if you get four sacks a game, you're feeling really good. Now they have six as a unit. And that type of a number, it's just under pressure, and they got to him again. Troy Hendrickson giving him once again his third sack of the afternoon. This offensive line flat out cannot handle this pass for us. We've seen it demonstrated time and time again to the tune of seven sacks in this game thus far. Now on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. And that one hits a little too close to the goal line, and it continues into the end zone for a touchback. I'm wondering. The Cincy offense about ready to go here on their next drive. A little less than four minutes remaining, and the margin for error is small with this slim lead. Operate within your four-minute offense here, Charles? Definitely. Remember, the four-minute offense doesn't always correspond to what's up on the clock. What they need to do is play a little bit of keep away right now. Run the clock down. Make sure their opponent doesn't get the ball go. back. 11, Their dream 15, scenario, 11, get enough first downs and make them yeet up their timeouts so the game ends when you're kneeling down with the football. And he's got Rome. And all the way in for a Cincinnati score. And that run massively increased his production in this game, and now he's over 100 yards. We break out your calculator, partner, because his yards per carry went up it's significantly, right? Big time jaunt all the way to the end zone. And oh, he clanks it off the right upright, and it's no good. Now he's back out there to boom this one away, maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss. Ebner going to elect to bring this out of the end zone here. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result, and he opted for the touchback. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. And now, after the touchdown a moment ago, they work from behind in a seven-point game in this fourth quarter. Plenty of time on the clock. He's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven, past the 30 to the 32. That's a staple of this offense, drag round to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Now it's Fields. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. Four yards there as they let him out of the pocket, and he got enough for the first. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Back to throw, Fields. Toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. Limited time left on the clock after that incompletion, so I think both sides are going to savor every second to prepare before the next snap. 
because once the ball's in motion, it may be a non-stop push to finish this drive off. Everyone better be on the same page right now because I think they're going to try and get several plays off in quick succession if they can. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. All eyes on fields. And this is taken in by Darnell Mooney. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. That's good for 28 yards. Uh, he's been quiet all afternoon. He may have just come up with a play of the day right there, though. Obviously, it's not the volume in which you get done. It's the quality, and that was a quality catch right there. And he'll be brought down at the 27. Here's Fields. Oh, a huge mistake late. It's intercepted. And the Bengals have just about sewn up this football game. Brandon, offensively, this has been a tough day for him. Trying to find a place to throw the football. It's been extremely difficult. I've got to give a lot of credit to the secondary, especially the corners, who've had the receivers on lockdown. The Bengals drive about to get going. And three timeouts remaining here defensively, but really not much reason to use them at this point as this one is all but over. If they use the timeouts here, it's strictly for show. We got a play to catch. So second and nine, and you'd have to figure just about all 11 probably crashing the line here. Once again, they run with Mixon. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. All right, just go ahead and say it with me. That was a... A mistake, for yes, sure. Without a doubt, because at some point, put your foot in the ground, get upfield, and get down, protecting the ball. Don't go out of bounds, because when you go out of bounds, you're really just helping the defense. Yeah, not to be too hyperbolic, but it's like giving oh the D an extra timeout, isn't it? It certainly is. Gives them a chance to regroup, and it means you have to snap the ball an additional time, which always means the possibility of a mistake. He gets this one to Boyd. So the completion good for seven there, and that'll bring up fourth down. Now the Bears going to use the second of their timeouts as they get it with 26 seconds to go in the football game. 11-90, And now before they run this play on fourth and one, we're going to get a break and a timeout. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. I'm wondering. Pull, pull, pull. Try and run with Mixon. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Hey, can, can. Stop. Burrow down to a knee, and that should be the final act of this one. Now a final chance to stop it here as a timeout comes in with 10 seconds left in the game. Here we go. Down to a knee one more time, and that should just about do it. Now the Bengals going to signal for their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. On two, ready? We'll see what they have drawn up here. A little bit behind the line. 12 yards needed to gain a first down. Now it's Burrow. Man open, that's Jamar Chase complete. The 20! And he takes it in for the score on the game's final play, so it doesn't affect the outcome. Put a little whipped cream on top to their end. As our friends in Bayou country would say, that's a little lanyap 